Quick e Speed Sprint Review, October 6, 2020, uh, Willow Springs Racetrack. Here is the prototype Mega House and Mega Factory. Uh, so the ultimate goal of this structure is to be a prototype factory as a product. Well, actually, able to produce a factory as a product, and that factory as a product produces ultra comfortable, ultra affordable, socially responsible, environmentally responsible housing. So what we need is a big dust proof space that we can temperature control uh, for composites production and we want environmentally friendly power so we have 40 kilowatts of solar being installed iteratively we have a space large enough for a full height rv which is a deployable module and by connecting many of these together we get a 10,000 square foot mega factory and what I'm using for battery right now is a Tesla Model 3, which is currently charging a Wi-Fi hotspot. And the Wi-Fi hotspot is connected to an Amazon cell tower uh, booster. And so I actually get super fast signal even though we're quite remote. And then the Tesla Model 3 battery for just charging laptops, phones, and the Wi-Fi hotspot seems to last essentially indefinitely, far more than a month, likely six months at current draw. But also if it gets really cold or really hot, it makes a temperature controlled place and it's big enough to sleep in the back. This container now has uh, a kitchenette and a bed, etc., so that I don't have to leave site every time I want to do work. Um, setting up some flooring, which allows me to work out and do yoga and try to have a nice lifestyle. The racetrack allows us to test Wikispeed cars and the modified Tesla is also modified for speed. Then I do want to share um, the outside kitchen. Part of this is to have an Instagram worthy lifestyle, not that Instagram's the goal, but the, uh, an aspirational lifestyle that's environmentally friendly, highly productive, that people would want to opt in. So making hand ground coffee each day. Um, having a delicious cocktail if that's what you like um, and then uh, it's windy so the tablecloth is blown back but tablecloth candles plants like trying to pump up the awesome as you drive up the pro productivity certainly seems to make it sustainable now the top level is a terrace here um, which allows for building allows for drying composites in the sun the cool thing about being in a desert is one if you do grade the ground, which I try to avoid, um, you don't kill nearly as much habitat as if you do that in most other terrains. So I didn't want to grade at all. But if we were going to grade, and, and I did, doing it in the desert disrupts less habitat. It's still important, precious habitat. I don't want to rather build on posts. We'll figure that out. But uh, that, that's one reason. Another is you have fantastic solar production. And another is you have wonderful temperature control. The gap between nighttime low and uh, sunny high is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit on a given day and night. So timing composites layup, if you protect it from dust, uh, you, you don't have to heat, you have heat. And if you need cold production for chemical mix, etc. cetera, um, you just put it in the shade or time it for evening and you, you have if you work with the day cycle or even at a greater scope seasonal cycle you have um, the temperature range you want for production without having to consume other consumables those are several good reasons to be in the desert another is the level of engineering talent and free publicity that we get being at willow springs raceway so you have People with one money, they have disposable income to race cars. Composites uh, people, mechanics people, technical people, electronics people, electrical vehicle testing, uh, etc. All here, and you have people doing PR stunts, public relations stunts, like the crew of Top Gear was here not long ago. Uh, they were testing a new Paganini hypercar, which was electric, by the way. Uh, so we have a talent pool that comes out to us. Uh, on a regular cadence and assuring fashionable events uh, also. But this is the closest track to Los Angeles. So when a, a movie star buys a new race car, this is where they go to test it out. So there's 
helicopters and tuxedos and beautiful dresses here on a fairly regular cadence. And yet the land is ultra affordable. We could set up this experiment here for almost no cost at all. So, so that's the why the desert. Then the why the mega house and the mega factory. Weirdly, if people wanna make a desirable lifestyle, most of what's advertised to them is grade the ground, kill everything. Grade the ground, kill everything, and build the largest, beautiful, fashionable home you can. And then to keep that home a, a lovely temperature, you consume large amounts of energy. Um, and then to keep tasty food flowing into it, 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 it involves a, a food transportation system with a high spoilage rate. Um, at the farming cycle, uh, at the picking cycle, at the transport cycle, and at the delivery cycle, and then even at, in, in your own home, there's a actually very high, high spoiler percentage most people experience. So the, the idea here is how to have a highly desirable lifestyle so it could scale, so people want to opt in. I'm working towards that, I don't know if I'm there. <laughs> uh, that is more environmentally responsible. Um, and so the mega factory is, th this isn't yet a mega factory. This is almost a standard box to be able to try to produce a mega factory, the first one. And then we have this spot here to set out a mega factory. And then its job is to produce a mega house, which is a 10,000 square foot, so decadently massive, uh, ultra comfortable, ultra luxury home that I'll go even further, that could be put into space eventually. So it's composites, high performance metal alloys, as opposed to stick frame timber. I love the idea of earth houses and earth ships, right? But I'm not gonna put, probably not gonna put uh, cargo bales and tires with rammed earth into orbit. Um, but uh, double hauled composites and high performance alloys do make perfect sense because the natural expansion of the human species is, is to the stars. If we look at story so why not be aiming towards that plus wikispeed knows a lot about composites and high performance metal alloys and they're honestly extremely cheap to work with once you learn them which we have already done so it's houses that are absolutely terrestrial now but for the goal of prototyping technologies that can take us towards space so that of course means solar excellent temperature control we have a forever but they are not the concept for the mega house and mega factory this is the first cheap structure to create the first mega house and mega factory so there's the general idea and the lay of the land